Ever heard of a prison break caused by, well, a flood? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds crazy, right? But it just happened in Nigeria. We're going deep on this one, how climate change and a prison break are unfortunately a thing now. Yeah, this is a wild one. So our main source is this CNN article, and it's pretty intense. It lays out this huge flood in Nigeria, and get this, it caused a prison break. Right. Just to set the scene, over a thousand people died across West and Central Africa from these floods. Yeah. Nigeria got hit hard, almost 300 deaths there alone, and over 600,000 people displaced. So this is way bigger than just a prison. It's a humanitarian crisis. Absolutely. And it's tragic. And unfortunately, it's probably a sign of things to come. The IPCC, you know, the climate experts, they've been warning about this for years. More frequent, more intense rainfall in this region is almost guaranteed at this point. It's scary, really. And it makes you wonder about the prison itself, right? Totally. The article says 274 inmates escaped. Flood waters literally broke down the prison walls. They even recaptured seven of them, which honestly, in all that chaos, how? Seriously, how? Yeah. It makes you wonder about the planning, or lack thereof. Was this prison built in a floodplain? Did they have any kind of plan for this kind of disaster? This could have been so much worse. And it makes you think, what about other prisons in the area? Are they vulnerable too? Right, like a ticking time bomb. And now the authorities are saying they know who escaped and are searching, but with all that devastation, I don't know how reassuring that really is. Exactly. And this is way bigger than just rounding up escapees. Yeah. This impacts national security, public safety. The justice system as a whole is shaken by something like this. It's a tough situation, and it brings up some really uncomfortable questions. Yeah, like, are we even remotely prepared for this kind of thing? As if climate change wasn't enough to deal with, now prisons are literally crumbling under the pressure. What are we supposed to do about that? It's a huge question. Yeah. Honestly, this whole situation in Nigeria should be a wake-up call. We need to adapt our infrastructure, not just prisons, but everything, to handle these extreme weather events. This isn't just a Nigeria problem. This is a global crisis that needs a global solution. It's all connected. Climate change, infrastructure, security. It's a lot, but this story really shines a light on just how serious these issues are and how unprepared we might be. Definitely something to think about.